I'm Molly May, and I am from a really small town in northern Mississippi called Houston. Growing up, it was just me and my mom. So my mom was diagnosed with stage three breast cancer when I was just eight years old, and it was terrifying. We found out that she carried a gene mutation called the BRCA1, and there is a 50-50 shot of passing that on to her children. So my freshman year of college, when I was 19, my mom made an appointment for me <laughs> and said, you have to go. And we went ahead and had the breast MRI done. A couple of weeks later, I get a call and he said, well, we think that you have breast cancer. I had the option to go ahead and remove my masses and then monitor cancer cells from then on. I didn't want to sit and wait and think of my breasts as ticking time bombs. So I went ahead and I had the mastectomy. Waking up in the hospital the next day was hard because of just how painful it was. And I avoided mirrors for a very long time. And I remember the first time that I did look in a mirror and my breasts were just gone. It was just flat and scarred and I had drains and tubes and blood and I couldn't lift my arms, but I still wouldn't change it. I remember watching the Miss Mississippi pageant that year and thinking, I am going to get there next year. And I did, I, I got there on the one year anniversary of my mastectomy. And I remember I was laying in my hospital bed, crying, terrified that I would never be confident enough to do what I am currently doing. <laughs> and it, it was really powerful for me. And that was what I really wanted to be able to tell my children one day, was that I still chased a dream and that I still did the hard thing, even if it was really scary for me. <laughs> the one thing that I would want to tell my future spouse about my breast cancer is that I went through a lot and I lost more than I thought that I would lose. And so I would want my spouse to know that my soul, that who I am, is beautiful and that my scars are my favorite thing about my body and that I really hope that they are his too.